The Brave Little Firefighter, a bedtime story for kids. Today we have a book named The Brave Little Firefighter, a bedtime story for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a small town called Sunnyville, there lived a brave little firefighter named Mac. Max was always ready to help people and save the day. He had a shiny red fire truck and a big smile that could brighten anyone's day. The story begins in Sunnyville, where Max is a brave little firefighter with a shiny red fire truck and a big smile. The brave little firefighter lives. He has a red fire truck and a cheerful smile. One sunny morning, the fire alarm rang loudly in the fire station. Max quickly put on his yellow firefighter helmet and jumped into his fire truck. With sirens blaring, he rushed to the scene of a burning house. Max is a brave little firefighter with a shiny red fire truck and a big smile hears the fire alarm and rushes to the scene in his fire truck with sirens blaring. When Max arrived, he saw flames leaping out of the windows. The family who lived there was standing outside, scared and worried. Max bravely grabbed the hose and sprayed water on the fire. He didn't give up until the flames were extinguished. Max is a brave little firefighter with a shiny red fire truck, and a big smile arrives at the burning house and sees flames. He uses a hose to spray water and put out the fire. The family thanked Max for saving their home. Max smiled and said, It's my job to keep everyone safe. So he waved goodbye and drove back to the fire station, ready for any other emergencies that might come his way. The family, thanks Max, is a brave little firefighter with a shiny red fire truck and a big smile for saving their home. Max is a brave little firefighter with a shiny red fire truck and a big smile returns to the fire station, always ready to help others. From that day on, Max became a hero in Sunnyville. Whenever there was a fire, people knew they could count on him. Max loved being a firefighter because he could make a difference and bring smiles to people's faces. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.